Hey guys, Derek with Foreigner Lifestyle. Today we're camping out here near Bear Lake, Utah. And I wanna show you guys one of my all time favorite companies and products that we distribute on our website. These guys are awesome and they make overland camping gear specifically for the vehicle you might have. So they do have a line of products designed specifically for Toyota 4Runner. Personally, I've been using their products for a long time and I am a huge fan and I'm gonna show you guys why. And the company we're talking about today is Luno. So some of you may know, Luno is most famous for their air mattresses, which are custom fit, vehicle specific. So they make a forerunner air mattress that fits perfectly. You don't have to worry about your seats that fold down being in the way or your wheel wells right here getting in the way. So they're custom fit exactly to your vehicle, which is really awesome. And it makes life a lot easier when you're trying to sleep in the back of your car. Now, Luno actually makes other products as well that are designed to make car camping a lot more comfortable. I'm only gonna show you guys a few of those products today. I'm gonna show you my top three favorite of their products that they make that I think make a huge difference when you're trying to car camp. Okay, so why would you want to do an in-vehicle air mattress over something like a rooftop tent? Well, there's a few really good reasons actually. So as I mentioned before, this is my personal 4Runner and this is the setup that I use most of the time. If you guys saw the Imaging Pass video, in that video I spent about a week in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. That entire time I used nothing but the Luno Air Mattress. Now I personally don't have a rooftop tent and I want to talk about some of the reasons why you would maybe choose to do this over a rooftop tent. Number one being the most obvious, rooftop tents are really expensive. So if you have the cash to fork out for a rooftop tent, they're definitely superior to this option for a lot of different reasons, including storage space. Um, but rooftop tents are very expensive. So if you don't wanna fork out the cash for a rooftop tent and you want something that's convenient that allows you to camp inside your vehicle, these Luno air mattresses are a really, really good way to go. The other one that you may not really think about that much is convenience. So rooftop tents aren't really that big of a deal to set up, but they do take some time. It can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to set up a rooftop tent, just depending on which rooftop tent that you have. Now, my specific situation, usually why I'm camping or I'm overlanding, is because I'm trying to get landscape photos or I'm trying to generate content of some kind of location. So in my specific situation, usually I'm getting up very early to drive somewhere to catch sunrise. I'm staying up very late after sunset and I'm showing up at my campsite at like 10 o'clock at night. So for these reasons, I don't really like having to set up and take down a rooftop tent every single time. Usually sunrise happens around six in the morning. Usually the location I'm trying to get to is about an hour away from where I had to camp. So that means waking up at five and then having to hit the road and having to spend an extra 20 to 30 minutes taking down a rooftop tent is just not as convenient for me as just having the air mattress in the back of the car. Now the third and final reason why these things are actually really convenient is the safety from wildlife and from the elements. So if you're camping in the winter time or you're just trying to escape harsh weather conditions, perhaps it's raining, which actually did happen quite a bit when I was in the San Juans in Colorado, the convenience of being inside the vehicle is really awesome. So if you're in an area where you're concerned about bears or you're in an area where there's lots of snow or it's really cold outside or it's raining, actually most of that trip in the San Juans, it was raining on me and I could just climb from the driver's seat right back into this area and actually just inflate the air mattress without having to leave the car at all. So let's talk about the one major disadvantage to the Luno air mattress that I can see. The biggest disadvantage I can really think of with the Luno Air Mattress is if you are a very tall person, if you're more than six feet, this air mattress may not work for you and that's just because the size of the 4Runner itself really doesn't give you much leg room when you're laying down. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay down on this one here real quick so you guys can see. Now I am 5'9 and I fit comfortably inside of this, but if you're taller than 5'9 or 5'10, you may need to kind of bend your knees a little bit in order to fit properly. I don't think that's really the fault of Luno, that's just the design of the 4Runner itself. The actual space between the back of the front seat and the back of your rear hatch is actually not that much. So you only have kind of a limited space to work with. Now the air mattress does take up that entire space. It goes all the way from the back hatch up to your rear seat that folds down, which I'll show you in another side angle here in a second. We fold this over just like that. We'll climb in here so you guys can see. So here it is with my head all the way up against the very top of the air mattress. And you can see I fit in here just fine. Um, like I said before, if you're any taller than I am, you may need to kind of bend your knees in order to fit properly. Um, but this is kind of the amount of space that you're working with 
with one of these air mattresses. All right, I want to give you guys a little closer look at the back of the vehicle with the air mattress set up right here. I apologize for the cleanliness. I did camp here last night. But one of the awesome things about this air mattress, as you can see, it wraps around kind of the wheel wells right here and I actually use these as kind of a nightstand. So for the time being, I always keep with me a couple air pumps in case one of them isn't working for some reason. And then I can use this other right side, which is normally the one I sleep on. I'll usually put my keys or anything else that I need inside the actual, you know, wheel well kind of dish that they have here factory from the Forerunner. Now, one of the most important parts of having a good air mattress inside the Forerunner is how it fits up against your rear seats, which you can see are folded down right up there. So I'm gonna show you why this is much better than a normal air mattress. So you can see again here how these are the rear seats which are folded forward. The real advantage of the Luno air mattress is that it is cut perfectly to stop up against these seats. Now, I have with me a regular Inatec air mattress from Walmart. For years, I actually just used those air mattresses before I knew about Luno. And the most frustrating thing ever is that these rear seats, when they're folded down, you can't shift the position. You can't move them farther forward or farther back. When they fold down, this is where they're at. So unless you remove these rear seats, you're stuck with this maybe eight inch gap between the back of your front seat and where you can actually put your air mattress to. And every air mattress out there is designed to be about six feet or longer. And they all have to rest on top of this, which kind of creates this situation where the air mattress is up against it like that and you're like kind of bending down at an awkward angle and it's really uncomfortable. So I do have one of those air mattresses and I'm gonna blow that up and we're actually gonna show you how those don't fit in the Forerunner very well. Now I have with me right here one of the Intex twin air mattresses from Walmart. This is actually what I used for probably four or five years of camping in the back of my car. I would always use one of these and there were a couple reasons for it. These air mattresses, they always die. So they pop, something happens. And so what I would actually do when I would do these camping trips is I would lay down two of them on top of each other and inflate the top one. And then if in the middle of the night when one failed, I had that brand new one on the bottom, I would inflate that one um, if the first one failed for whatever reason. So at any given point in time, I would own four or five of these and I just have them around because they constantly failed. They'd constantly get holes. There would always be problems. So this is the size I found that was the most convenient for one person. If you've got two people, you probably would do the, the queen or the double. Um, but I want to show you guys, it doesn't really matter because width-wise they'll fit, but they'll, the queen will actually roll up against these. So you kind of have like a taco effect. But with the twin, they almost don't fit in the Forerunner whatsoever. I'm going to show you that right now. Right, so I have this one unboxed. We're gonna rip the Luno out and I'm actually just gonna set it on the ground. Now, I wouldn't recommend you do that normally with most air mattresses for obvious reasons, but as I mentioned before, these things are just so ridiculously well built that I'm not concerned about it getting punctured from being on the ground. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw this one in and we're gonna go ahead and blow it up and I'll show you why this is really a pain to try and use a normal air mattress. Okay, there you go. So now this is fully inflated. That really does take a lot longer than the Luno. It's been a while since I've used one of these as opposed to Luno ones, so I'd forgotten. Um, but I would guess that that was probably at least twice as long, if not three or four times as long as it takes to inflate both sides of the Luno air mattress. So I'm not sure if that's just a volume thing. Um, but anyway, so here is the biggest issue with these. You can see that I have it right now so that it's up against that set of rear seats. Now, no matter what you do right now, you cannot shut the back hatch in the foreigner. It doesn't fit. They're too long and they're just long by about maybe two inches, but it's just enough that no matter how you try and cram this in here. So no matter what you do, it's not going to shut with this in there and you're likely to pinch or ruin the air mattress or pop it or something in the process of trying to get it to fit. So the only way to get this to fit in here is to actually rest the air mattress like this. You can already see how uncomfortable this is gonna be. On top of the set of rear seats that you had to fold forward, there's no way for this to fit otherwise. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You can scoot your front seats forward and back, but these seats, the rear seats that fold forward and backwards, you can't change the position at all. And so the only way for this to actually fit and be able to shut the back hatch is to actually rest the air mattress on top just like that and I actually have slept like this 
quite a few times because it's the only way to get the air mattress to fit. Obviously not ideal and not very comfortable and it really increases the likelihood the air mattress is gonna pop or something weird is gonna happen and it's gonna deflate in the middle of the night. Okay, so for those of you who are worried now that you might be losing a lot of space switching to the Luno over using one of these air mattresses, we have them lined up here side by side and you can see it's really just this two inches that you're losing moving from this air mattress to this one. That's really all it is. It's not that big of a difference in size. It's really only just about those two inches that make a huge, huge difference. You can see actually with them stacked up next to each other that when that one's folded up back to back and that one's not even fully inflated, they're about the same thickness. Now, if we unfold the Luno, this is about half the thickness overall of the regular Inatex one. And obviously that doesn't make a huge difference, but if you're really picky about how thick the air mattress is, that is the difference. As I mentioned, Luno makes a bunch of other products that make life a lot more convenient when you're car camping. So I have in here my Rego interior molly panels, which personally is probably my favorite all time thing I've ever done to this because I use them as kind of a nightstand for everything at night. So you can mount different things to it. Obviously I've got a quick fist here with just a little hatchet. I've got a little knife. I've got other things here that I can use that are easy to access. But this right here is the Luno shoe bag. So what it's actually designed to do is be a shoe bag for dirty shoes and it's magnetic. So as you can see, it's protected, it's water resistant, but on the bottom there's this mesh so that the shoes can drain and the magnets on the bag actually allow you to stick it to the outside of the car pretty much anywhere you want, just like that. And then your dirty, wet shoes can actually just hang out there and drain. So if you have a truck bed, obviously this isn't necessarily a big deal for you, but for us that have a forerunner and you don't wanna put dirty shoes or something nasty inside your car and have it get all over in your carpet and get mud everywhere, this is actually really convenient. So you can slap your shoes inside this bag and then slap them outside the car, especially if you're car camping. Any of you that have slept in the back of the Forerunner before, you know you don't wanna bring your dirty, muddy shoes into the car. And especially when you have an air mattress, there's not really any place to put them where it's not just gonna get everywhere, get all over your sleeping setup. So super convenient and because it's magnetic, it sticks really anywhere on the outside body of the car. You can just slap it right next to the passenger side door and throw your shoes in there. What I end up using mine for most of the time when I'm not using it as a shoe bag is I actually just keep it right here on the Rego Molly panels because they're magnetic and then I can put whatever I want in there and move it around any point in time. I don't need to keep shoes in here. Um, sometimes I do, but I can keep other things in here that make my life easier. So in here right now, I have the Luno car window screens and this is probably the biggest game changer for those of you who are car camping. It's so simple and it's so dumb, but it's like the most useful thing I've ever owned as far as car camping goes. It actually makes my life a lot easier. So what these are, they come in a set of two and they come in again, a really, really nice Hexalite ripstop nylon bag that has two of these screens basically. So they're super dark uh, mesh screens with an elastic band on the bottom that are cut exactly to the shape of Forerunner windows. So I'm gonna show you how you install these and what they're for. One of the biggest issues with car camping, especially in the summertime, is lack of airflow. So once you're inside the car, all the windows are shut, it gets really, really musty in there pretty fast. Your humidity kind of builds up and it gets really hot, especially if you're trying to stay up all night and sleep in the daytime, which I've done a lot of when you're photographing the Milky Way or something like that. And so this is really where these come in super handy. So you can roll your window all the way down, open your car door, and then just slide this right over the top. Just like that. And then you can shut your car door. Super convenient, super simple. And my favorite thing about these Luno ones as opposed to, there's other companies out there that make just mosquito resisting ones and stuff like that, but they're a lot easier to see through and they don't really block UV rays. And a lot of people try and buy this material and, and sew their own, which you could, you could do, but there's, it's very hard to find material that actually blocks UV light and stitch them in a way that they're actually this dark. So these ones specifically are very, very dark and you can't really see inside the vehicle. You guys can probably see right now. It's kind of hard to see through these, especially at night. So the next thing that I wish I'd known about a long time ago 
that is so convenient, it's so simple, but it's so convenient, is this little Luno fan. So all it is is a fan that can be powered by a USB power bank. So if you have a little USB power bank you'd use to recharge your phone or just some kind of power source like a Jackery or something, you can power this little tiny fan with this little USB cord right here. And so, so many times this would have come in useful for me. Um, a lot of what I like to do personally is I go out and I photograph the Milky Way at night. Usually you're up all night and you're having to sleep in the daytime because you have no choice. Those locations are very, very remote where you're going to photograph the Milky Way and there's just no hotels, there's nothing close by. So you're stuck trying to find like a shady spot, a good campsite and get three or four hours of sleep when the sun's already up. And this would have been absolutely game changing for me had I known about it um, three or four years ago when I was doing a lot of it. That was, I spent you know two or three weeks on the road at a time and this would have absolutely been the most useful thing ever. So super, super awesome idea, Luno. This is really useful. I'm already in love with it. Even just when you're camping at night on a summer night, you need just a little bit of circulation inside of your car. These are super convenient and you can mount them right to your Rego Molly panel so they face right directly at you and just run it off of a USB power bank. So this right here is the mount for that fan I was just showing you and it's actually really genius. So it's got a little sticky ring on the back and then a little pump basically and a little suction cup. So you can just stick it to some glass, push this down and it suction cups to the glass just like that. So super convenient if you don't have Rego Molly panels and you can't mount it that way, you could just mount it right to a window anywhere in your car. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys have any questions about Luno gear or you think there's maybe something we missed or you'd like to see us cover something else in a future video, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Like I said before, there will be links to everything that I just talked about in this video in the description, as well as links to everything else that we sell from Luno on foreignerlifestyle.com.